I am a silver stacker. It's something that I believe in greatly. I think it's something that we should all be doing. Am I saying that I think the S is going to hit the fan? I'm not saying that at all. I, I, I hope it doesn't. I hope it never does. I hope, I hope precious metals like this, I can pass on to my children. I hope this could be a wealth preservation that I can hand on down to them someday. That's what I want. I don't think anyone should want the S to hit the fan. I know there are a lot of uh, wealthy people who prep for that and would benefit greatly from that, but I don't see how that could possibly be good for the greater body wherever you are, whether you're here in the United States of America, if you're up in Canada, no matter where you are in the world, I don't see how that would be beneficial for us as a people. But what will be beneficial for us as a people, if and when that does happen, if you have something to barter with, what can you barter with? What will you have? You might just have some jewelry. How much jewelry do you have? You might have a cattle farm yourself. You might be growing uh, uh, crops. You might be able to provide that for trade. Or you might be fully self-sustainable. You may have everything you need. Um, but for most of us, we don't have all that. Having some silver and gold, some precious metals, could be key in order to obtain and to get something like that. Uh, so that's what you guys need to think about. So that's why I spend a lot of time talking about stacking silver. It's affordable. Anybody can get it. I've shared in previous videos, you can go to a local coin shop. If they have them, you can get a dime, a 1964 uh, Roosevelt silver dime for as little as $2. There's no excuse for someone not to be able to start somewhere, even if it, it's a matter of giving up something, cutting back on your smokes, your tobacco, your alcohol, uh, eating out, whatever we all we all have guilty pleasures or maybe they're not guilty maybe they're just pleasures that we can cut back on so we can get started on stacking i believe that the, the more people have a way to barter the less control and the less power the elites the elitists will have over us you know for so long they've been getting a lot of us dependent on their care. They're printing money. They're giving out money like never before. It's, it's insane. Um, everybody's enjoying the free hand, hand me outs. And uh, it's causing a lot of us to become dependent on them. Guys, I think that's a bad idea. I just think it's a bad idea. I think we need to be finding ways that we could be more independent. You know, we, we became independent as a body of people in 1776. We fought for it ever since. We've helped others. We've exhausted our means. A lot of people don't care. A lot of people don't want to fight for others. There's a lot of people that want us to all come together and be one world order. I don't want someone else on the other end of the world telling me how to live my life. I don't think that's a good idea. I want to live, I want to be free. You should want to be free. You should want to be able to live the way you want to live, wherever you are, whatever your circumstances are. I don't want to get too political on here, but I hope everyone who's watching this video, I want you guys to think for yourselves, I really do. I want you guys to to know how I feel, how I feel about the situation, but I want you guys to decide for yourselves. Now, let's just say I'm right. The S hits the fan, the dollar completely fails, and there's a shift of power 
somewhere coming from someone because, hey, they've got to come to our rescue and provide for us and take care of us, right? All these free handouts we've been getting used to. Well, I don't want to get in line. I hope most of you will not want to go get in line. I hope most of you will be able to be in a position where you've got some of this where you can say, you know what, I know someone in town that I can barter with and I can get something with. We'll be just fine here in our town, in our city. Neighbors relying on neighbors. You know, we outnumber them by the millions. Hundreds of millions. We outnumber them. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty safe where we're at. I don't worry about confiscation. I think that's a that's a fear right there that they try to instill in a lot of us is confiscation. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Please make a comment below. I'm not saying one thing or another. I'm just sharing my thoughts. I'm just another guy. I'm just another neighbor, just another, just another friend. What do you guys think? Please share with me. Share with everybody else who might be reading these comments below. Share with us your thoughts. What are your feelings? If, uh, if you have absolute faith in our fiat currency, in our dollar, and what everyone, all the politicians are doing in Capitol Hill for us, It's not too late. It's not too late to change your thinking. Okay? There's no panic. Things are not going to happen overnight. Things are not going to change overnight. The S is not going to hit the fan overnight. I think we've got time. Wouldn't you just feel better knowing that you had something to barter with? It doesn't have to be silver and gold. What have you got? I like cryptocurrency. I think it's a good investment. But if the S hits the fan, well, it may not be any more valuable than, than a fiat currency. That's my take. That's my thought. But hey, if things continue, if we continue to kick the can further down the road and we prevent the bottom, bottom from falling out underneath us, then hey, uh, if you got cryptocurrency, if you got other investments, maybe you'll you'll benefit from it, you'll profit from it. That's not a bad thing. We ha we have no control. You and I who are wa you who you you're watching this video, me. We don't have any say. We don't have any control. Uh we're not in charge. But we are the people. We have the power. And uh I'm feeling pretty good about our chances. We just all need to just wake up and we need to start thinking about when things go bad, things go wrong. You know, our great grandparents, our, our, our grandparents, they experienced the Great Depression. Uh, our previous generation, the baby boomers have had it pretty good. And we've had it pretty good too for a long time. History repeats itself. And, uh, I just don't want to be one of those people, one of those families that get caught with, with nothing to fall back on because I, I trusted the money, the fiat currency so much. I left all my money in the bank and, and uh, just continued on about life, lived check to check and never tucked anything away. I don't want to be one of those people because that would, that would put me in a situation where I would have absolutely no control of my say for myself or for my family. Does that make sense? So what can you do today to prepare? I think it's a good idea, guys. If you haven't liked this video, give it a like, would you? Subscribe. Uh, we've got a, a, our 200 subscription giveaway coming up here really soon. Uh, I'll probably have that video come up here early next week. Um, we're going to be giving away some more free silver. So watch for that. 
and I wish all you the best.